of a sultan. Looking to scare me? Never again. Fucking fog. Well, I'd rather brag about how I plowed three wenches at once in my youth. Making a mistake. A mistake? Interesting. There's a war on. Don't know if you've noticed. And wars are won by killing foes. Or do I have it all wrong? The Witcher's a messenger. On his way to see Saskia. Not your typical messenger. Well, I don't know if you noticed. But we had to pass through an atypical fog in which your typical messenger would have shit just before he... Enough! We'll not let you inside, Vergen. But you can deliver your message to the commander of the Watch. He's stationed by the town gates. Plowing typical elf. Come on, Geralt. It's Geralt of Rivia and Zoltan Chive. Pinch me, Burden, for I believe I've dozed off while in duty. Could be an illusion, eh? Or some spectres from the battlefield have lost their way. Maybe we ought to tickle them with an axe, just to be sure. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm afraid there's no mage out there who could conjure up the Witcher's mug, nor the aroma of Zoltan's beer-soaked beard. <laughs> Yarpin Zigrin! Lice eat me if I'm not delighted to see that horrid mug of yours. <laughs> this lad here scaling burden. Geralt, what are you doing standing there as if you've swallowed a halberd? Got a hug for an old mate? Greetings. Triss has told me a lot about you. We Merigold? Ha! Huh. How is the lass? Let me tell you, Scalen. This here witch has the very embodiment of chivalry. All the silk cups of the world can't hold a candle to him. And you know why? No, but I got a feeling we're about to find out. Me? A knight? I'd sooner call Zoltan a show dancer. 
Well then, listen everyone. At the time, we were escorting Kedwenny army convoys through the Sherwood forests. Aye, aye, we served Hensel once, though all was for coin. Anyways, the Witcher was on the road as well, with Triss and Ciri heading south. The lass, I tell you, was a demoness incarnate. Pure pepper on her feet and healthy as a horse. But the sorceress fell ill. Some terrible pestilence held her, gave her the runs. That woman needed to go every five minutes. Never seen anything like it. And I've had my share of gut rumblings. This one time, I roasted an old ailing gerbil and... Oi, you promised us a chivalrous tale. And I'm delivering it, lad. In any case, the witcher would carry her into the bushes time after time. He treated and cared for her, cleaned her, bathed her. Sounds normal to me. A man looking after his woman. It's too much to call it chivalrous yarpin. Ah, wrong. Triss weren't his woman. Not his wife, nor lover. She was sick and in need of aid. And he was on a secret mission. Might have left her in some city, might have gone off on his own, but he didn't. Know why? Because he's got a heart of gold. He truly cares. A lad like you, Scalin, don't know that being a knight's not just about thrashing around in full plate, a long sword in hand. It's not just about fighting duels and winning tournaments. Damn! I missed hearing your bullshit, Zigrun. Hmm, I don't believe anyone else has tried to tell me that story. How is the wee Marigold, anyway? Not great. The Kingslayer kidnapped her. Oh, damn the dogs! That's downright terrible! I suppose it's no coincidence you're here. Any idea where I might find the Dun Banner? Try the Netherworld. The whole unit was cut down during the battle three years ago. I meant the unit's standard, which symbolizes death. Ah! That makes it a lot easier. We buried it with the remains of the Kedwenis. Where? Just outside Vergen. I'll mark it on your map as the road could get confusing. Strange things are afoot in those crypts, Witcher. Kedweni ghosts scaring off our folk. That would be normal since they were invaders. But one's some kind of amateur historian, asking all that venture there about the battle and the Dunbanner. I'll look into it. Thanks. I have to see Saskia. To what end? To dispel the mist of wraiths, I need a few magic artifacts. What's Saskia got to do with that? Her sword is one of those items. And what do you suggest I do? Yorvith and Saskia banned us from letting strangers in. And here are two old mates come over from the other side who want just that. A lose-lose situation if ever I've seen one. That ought to be easy to get around. Cow pies ought to be easy to get around. Yet we don't always succeed. I'm staying here, Yarpen. I want to join you, enlist. Will you have me in the Dwarven Brigade? Will I have you, Chiefy? Will I plow and have you? Why, I'll make you a fucking commander, you cocksucker! Problem solved. Scalin, you're my witness. Zoltan's no longer a stranger. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Now I'll introduce you to Saskia, and you can try to clarify the story with a sword for her. Or whatnot. Don't you fret about the sword, Geralt. I promise to ascend to the fucking heights of oratory. Be soft as a mink, cautious as a novice strumpet. I'll get you that blade if I have to shave my beard off. All right then. See that, Scalin? We were headed for a tragedy. Now we're headed for a comedy. Ah, youth these days. Lacking hope and heart. You know what Zoltan and I saw at Brenner, lad? To us, there's no such thing as the impossible. Triss could be somewhere in this area. The plague. I've not seen her five years, must be. Since that day they proclaimed you dead. Last saw her in Rivia, in any case. From what I've been able to establish, the Kingslayer forced her to teleport the two of them to this area. And she's not on the other side of the fog. What did this Kingslayer look like? A huge, bald witcher. Wears a medallion with a snake on it. Sorry, Geralt. Doesn't even ring the tiniest bell, any of that. I might know something. This drunk in Vurgan claims he saw a redhead fall from the sky somewhere among the ravines. 
And then he said the sorceress Philippa Eilhart came around looking for this woman. Shriveled old minx. She sent her servant and some peasants to the ravines after her. But they came back empty-handed. Now Philippa's serving maid's gone, leaving the sorceress angry as a wasp. She even turned one of the plebs into a pig. I spoke to one of those peasants. He claims the lass was no servant, but an Elfgardian agent. And she apparently found something in those ravines. Maybe it was Triss, and maybe it was that witcher. Madame Eilhart, or the old minx as Yarpin calls her, knows she's been duped and can't forgive herself for it. Did the woman flee south, deeper into Edern? Fucking hell! She came out the main gate not more than an hour ago, headed straight for the fog. Thought she might be out to do some magic probing or whatnot. She knew a bit of magic. She might have crossed. I guess I need to visit Schillard when I get back. How's Jorvith? Any chance I might run into him? Minimal. He follows Saskia around like a once neglected pup. Eyes on her at all times. At least the lass is well protected. What do you seek from Jorvith? Last I heard, you weren't exactly chummy. You heard right. But when I last saw him in Flotsam, he had something I need to lift the curse. Even if you see him, I doubt he'll give you anything out of the kindness of his heart. Perhaps Saskia can convince him? Guess I don't have much of a choice. It's nice to talk to you all, but we've got things to do. Ah, that's life. Open the gate! I've got to fetch me a certain sword. Wait a minute. If by some miracle you obtain that cursed blade, I'd advise you not to parade it out the main gate past the squirrels. Got another solution? There's another passage. I'll mark it in the Witcher's map and show you myself. Sound all right to you? It does. In the meantime, I'll look around for that flag. Prime, I'd say. Off we go then. So, Fergan's grown a bit, eh? Good 
Don't bother me. 